Hi everyone, Zoe and Mike here. We're going to start our new project today. We don't know what to call it yet. What are we going to call it? Hmm, maybe car racing. Sure, car racing. Just for now. Sure, sounds good to me. Car racing. For information, people's always doing all of the typing, all of the clicking. So go ahead, let's go create, create project. project. So let's talk a little bit about our design, right? So we've decided we want to make a uh, semi racing game. Oh, it went to the other screen. We need to move everything to this screen. So, wait a second. Dock the game view. Dock it to to the the rest. So you need to select the tab, yeah, okay. and drag the tab there. there. Yeah. Now select the scene view. Not sure. Drag everything there. No, to the top of the screen so we maximize it. There we go. And now select your scene view. Ta-da! Okay. Let's also change from isometric to to um, to sorry from perspective to isometric by clicking on the cube there on the right. Here, that one. Yeah, ta-da! There we go. Okay, awesome. So everything's working fine for now. So we said we were going to create a uh, tabletop game, right? Yes. Tabletop game where we need to throw dice uh, to and move cars. to move cars. That's what we're going to do, right? So let's begin, I suppose, by building our board. What do you say? We can build a board? Yes. Right? I mean, we're not going to do the art for it yet. I think that for the art, what we're going to do is you're going to put a texture on top of a plane. And then we're going to put the pieces on it. Or do you want to do it all 3D? I suppose we could do it all I 3D. I think we should do it all 3D, like make it at least have some borders. Sure. Or unless we make the cars be able to run off the track. Well, no, obviously not, right? It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a board game, so the cars game. are pretty much pawns for us. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Anyway, so how about we go ahead and create <laughs> uh, a new plane? But the plane that Unity has in it is kind of silly because it's, it's got too many. Um, ah, there we go. Remove all those pesky spaces. Who needs spaces? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Unity default plane is kind of big and it's got loads of polygons and we don't need all of that. But what we do need, therefore, is we're going to need a Blender project. So let's start with that. So in the Assets folder, go ahead and create, uh, go ahead and create a Models folder, yeah. Controls, yeah. Okay, and now let's open Blender. So hit the Windows key and then go Blender. Now. Yeah, it's all right. It's already there. Okay, drag it to the other screen again. I think there's a newer version than 2.8c. Oh well, double click. Yeah, yeah we didn't have 2.78. Whatever. So. Just so click anywhere for this to go away. Okay, now we need to select everything and delete everything. So A, delete. There we go. Now press 5 to go into isometric. No, the other one. Yeah, there we go. And now, before we do anything else, let's save it right away. So let's go to File, Save, or Control S. Yeah, and now go to Large Storage U. Large Storage U, here. No, that's that one. Yeah, now go to Dropbox. So we have projects at the, all the way at the bottom. Uh, car Racing. And Assets, Models. And now rename it from Untitled. No, the, the box underneath, yeah, that one and uh, call it uh, whatever, car racing, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> Doesn't much matter for now. So. Okay, then we'll just call it car racing. Okay, go ahead and hit save. Save Blender file on the right. There, and now we don't need to do it ever again. Okay, awesome. <coughs> so now we are going to add our first model. So hit control A. Is the cursor in the middle? Yeah. Oh, by the way, not control A, shift A, my bad. <laughs> Mesh, plane. Okay, so the plane is fairly small. No, 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 don't do that. Let's go back. We need to make it bigger. So I don't remember the units of measure, but we're going to assume that each of these grid squares is a meter. So hit tab to go into edit mode. And now hit S to change the scale. Hit Y to go on the Y axis. And uh, uh, just type. And this is going to be in percentage. So we want it to be. So right now it's two meters. 
uh, let's say we want it to be nine meters high. So how much, what do we need to do to get to nine? Right now we have two. We got two, which two is... Two times what take... makes nine? Uh, two times... Two times four, we get the closest. Yeah, and then, therefore, we need to go into floats, so... Two times... Four and? Four and point five, I guess. Four point five. All right, so, so start typing four point five. Hit enter. Okay, so this should be nine, at least I assume so. <coughs> Uh, or am I wrong? No, I think I'm wrong, am I? I don't know. Probably not. It should be okay. Now let's do S, X. Okay. And this one we want it to be 16. It's currently 2. How m 2 times what makes 16? Uh, 2 times 8. Then hit 8, hit enter. Okay, we have a widescreen board here. Mm -hmm. That should be okay. So uh, now the one thing that we need to do right away in order to put a texture on it later, assuming we want to do that, is, is unwrap it. it. Unwrap it. Yeah. So you go here to this little fold, yeah, and then drag it left, left, the other left banana. No, no, the fold, the fold. Oh. That's it. Drag it left. Okay. Good. Now go to the bottom here. That little bottom cube. Yeah. Change that to UV image editor, yeah. And now go back here. Now press seven to look at the thing from the top. Yeah, hit U to unwrap. And now hit project from view bounds. Boop, and now it's taken the entire space. And project view makes it so that where the camera is pointing from, that's where we're getting. Therefore, the bottom left vertex here is the same as the bottom left vertex on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, good. So this is done for now. Now we need to rename the thing. So it's called plane and we should call that board. Boar? Boar. Is <laughs> <laughs> the animal? We're not making a boar. We're not making a boar. That's true. Double click it. The name. There we go. Board. We're making a board. Yeah. Now expand it so you can change the name of the mesh too. Mm -hmm. Board. Hit enter. Okay, so we got this done. Now let's make our little pawn. In order to make the pawn, we're gonna make this little car of ours. Now we can worry about proportions later, but let's say our car is going to be uh, something like half a meter or something. Let's go to the next layer. Yeah, sounds good. Now hit Control A, uh, Shift A, my bad. And this time add a cube. Mm -hmm. Now go to edit mode. So tab, just hit tab. Yeah. Now S to rescale. <coughs> S to rescale. Uh, and this time leave it on all three axes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make so currently it's two meters across. Uh, so two meters. The volume is two times two times two. Eight cubic meters. Well, who cares? Um, so what are we gonna do? Yes, we're gonna resize it to be way smaller, and it should be one by one by one, I guess. Therefore, if currently it's two by two by two, what do we have to do? What do we multiply two by to get one? Well, you need to divide it by what? Well, you divide it by two. 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 Right. If you divide it by two, you <laughs> therefore multiply it by what? You multiply it by half. That's right. And half, how do we write half? One divided by two. Well, 50%. yeah, sure. But in floats. <laughs> One, zero point five. There you go. Then type zero point five. Hit enter. Done. Ta da! Okay. Now pen, pen, uh, or actually press one, I guess. No, over there. Yeah. Okay. Now we're in side view. So this is going to be, let's say, the front of our car. Okay. Or something. Right, so let's make it fairly stylized for now. And we're also gonna make it mirrored, right? So make a loop cut in the middle. So we'll control R and then drag the mouse, not there, the other middle, escape. And control Z to undo. Now do the loop cut vertically. There. That middle. Yeah, escape to release it. 
there. And now hit Z to go to wireframe mode, press A to unselect everything, B to box select, and select the rightmost vertices. Whoa. You need to press B again. No, N, B. Yeah, there. now hit the delete key and then V for vertices. There. Okay, and now we're gonna add a modifier. So go on the right options over there. Actually, tell you what, right click here between the two pa panes, between them, between them. So you need to get the different icon. There, right click and go join area and move the mouse to the right, to the right, to the right. <laughs> I think when you'll be like 40, you'll learn the difference between right and left. Okay, left click now. Good. Now you go to your modifiers over there, which is the wrench icon on the right, the wrench icon. This? Yeah. Add modifier, mirror. Uh, Further down. Up. Mirror. Mirror. And on the x-axis, that's good. Now hit clipping. So okay. it sticks to the middle. Okay. <laughs> and now if you pan around like this. You can see that. You can see that the side is just updating itself based on what the other one is doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Let's, okay, so if we do a loop cut in the middle, it should separate basically the roof from the rest of the chassis. So I think that should work. So let's hit control R and do a loop cut in the middle horizontally, just like this. Click escape. Okay, so there we got that. Now let's extrude the front. So select the four vertices at the bottom front, which is this, these four. Okay, so hit A to unselect everything. Whoa, cap Not lock. caps lock. A. A. That's right. Now. B. Uh, I guess. Yeah. And box select these four. These no, ones. not the top ones. The bottom ones. Yeah. These ones. Yeah. You only got three, but that's fine. Select those three. Uh. Okay. B. Missed. Hit B again <laughs> and select the other two. There. Okay. Now press E to extrude. Y to go on the Y axis. And now drag it a bit forward. Go forward. Yeah. Hold control just so we get exact measures. Yeah, go forward. Oh, that's too far. Hold shift as well. Okay, now go back a bit. A bit more. A bit more. Okay, release. Uh, I meant click and then release. So control and shift again. Uh, too late. <laughs> that's fine. Sorry. Leave it there. That's okay, no problem. <laughs> now hit A to unselect all. And now hit B to select the bottom, uh, excuse me, the back four faces, uh, the four vertices. I better pan around. No, you're fine. You're in wireframe mode, so you can select them. Oh, then. There. And now extrude, same thing. Extrude, Y. And now hold Control and Shift and go left. Carry on. Wow, well, a few. Uh, that's enough. Now click. Uh, click first and then release. That's fine. No problem. Okay, so it's starting to look more or less like a car. The very squarey car. Well, yeah, you know, that's that's where we begin. We should probably start yeah. prototyping and not worry about making really, really, really cool models for now. So let's select the roof. So the top four vertices. Mm -hmm. that's oh, a, that's a little that's a, bit much. That's too generous. Hit A to unselect. You need to hold shift if you want to box and select. So B to box select, select the top four. There Think we go. Got them. And now hit S to resize them and gently scale them down. So make them smaller. Yeah, a bit more. Okay, click. Okay, A to select all. Now let's go to side view, this side. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the wheels. Also, we're going to move the entire car further up. So hit A to select everything and hit G, Z and hold control and move up. There, uh, go one more up. No, too much. I meant just one more tick. Yeah, like this. Yes. Yeah, now click. Now release control. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a second, let me grab a chair here. Oh, I... <laughs> Your old man is old. Okay, 
Now, um, we are going to add the wheels. Mm -hmm. um, we'll add them as objects, I think, not as meshes. <coughs> so, well, let me think. Yeah, sure, we'll add them as objects. If we then want to rotate the wheels just to make it cooler, then we'll be able to do it. Uh, so we only need to add one wheel, technically speaking. Okay, so hit tab to go back to edit mode. Uh, yeah, I'm you, not on the yeah, screen. It's contextual. Yeah. Now you can press Z to go back to uh, outside of wire wireframe mode. Yeah, that's good. Now press Shift C to put the cursor in the middle. Okay. Now Shift A to add a mesh and select cylinder. Okay. Ball. So this it's is very highly defined. We don't want something this defined. There's no particular purpose for it. So change it from 32 to something much smaller, say 12. So bigger than eight, but smaller than 16. Okay, now hit tab to go into edit mode. Yeah, you need to be there. Uh -huh. Now hit S, excuse me, R to rotate. And which axis do we need to rotate on? This way. Nope. So. Nope. But don't we want to rotate this way so we can well, I guess. We get it smaller? Yeah, like, like the smaller comes later, right? Move the mouse further from the center so it's easier to rotate. Okay, now it's nicer, you got more room. Uh, sure, if you want to rotate it like that, though, we need to do it with precise numbers, like 90 degrees. But on which axis are you rotating now? Uh, well, I'm rotating it. Um, so you can see the z-axis? Are you rotating around that? I think so, yeah. The nope. z-axis. No. Nope. Look at the z-axis. It's right there up top. Right? Yeah, it's not moving. In order to rotate around it, it would need to go like this. We need this. to go around like that. Yeah, so... I think we're rotating the y. No. <laughs> no, wait. That would be rotated like this. That's right. So, so I mean, you ran out of options. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one left. So there's only X. So hit X now to make absolutely sure we're only rotating on that. Okay. Okay, Wee. done. And now decide by typing the number. So 90 degrees is what you want to rotate by. Yes. Hit enter. Okay, <coughs> now the, 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 the wheel is going in the same direction as the car, which is an issue. It needs to be sideways. So we need to rotate again around what axis? Um, what do you mean by sideways? Well... So like this? No, nope, you're rotating on the same axis now. There's no point. You need to change axis. So either Y or Z. Y would rotate on top of itself. It's pointless. Oh, so go on Z. Z. Yeah, hit 90 again. There. Now it's in the correct orientation. Now hit, <coughs> hit enter. <coughs> okay. Now <coughs> let's pan around. Because right, it's clearly too big. So let's start by making it simply smaller. So hit S and now hit control, hold control and just go towards the center to make it smaller. Okay. That looks more or less okay. Looks like an okay size. So hit click and then release control. Okay. Now let's see again from the side. So we want it to be exactly touching the ground, right? So drag it, uh, hit G, Z, G, Z, drag it up, hold control. Okay, click. Release control. All right. Now let's hit Z to go into wireframe. Whoa, the wheel is still too large. So let's hit S to make it smaller again. And now go towards the center. Hold control. Yeah, more and more. One more, I guess. Okay, click. Okay, you released before clicking, which means we don't have precise numbers now. So it's going to be an issue. Hit control Z. Yeah, do it again. S, hold control, make it smaller. One more, click, release control. Now G, oh, I just realized I'm silly. We're gonna have to rotate it so it needs to be in the, mo in the center. Anyway, just place it where you think a wheel more or less belongs. Yeah, about there, yeah. Yeah, now it's inside <coughs> the ground, so. Oh, you're right. So you need to hit G. Hold control, hold shift as well. Start moving. Yeah, there. Click. Okay. 
So now that's pretty good. The problem is, as you can see, it's inside the car. So we're going to need to move it to the side. So move it to either side. Go left because left is your actual object on the right. It's the mirror. So hold control and drag it left. Yeah, more. Keep on going. Keep on going. So one less. Click. Release. Okay, and now make it smaller on the x-axis. So S, X. Hold control. Smaller, 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 smaller. Okay, click. There we go. Now let's see how this looks like. Hold, hold, hold control for me. Okay, now let's pan around a bit. Release control. There it is. That's a little <coughs> wheel. Now the problem is the center of the object is here. We can't have that. So hit tab. Now hit uh, control shift C. Oh no, I forgot the alt. Control shift alt C. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the crazy one. Crazy combo. And we're gonna select origin to geometry. So it's put the origin right there. Therefore, if we rotate that thing in unity, it will rotate on itself, which is nice. Cool. Okay, so we got the car, we got the wheel, uh, we got the board. Now we need to rename them though. So here it says cube, call this, this one car. car. Hit enter. Yeah. Cube 001, it's still car. Yeah, enter. Now go on the cylinder. Cylinder, that's wheels. Wheel, just one wheel. Yeah. Let's make it bigger. Now the next one. Wheel. This is the wheel too. What? It's not the well though. It's not the well. Okay. Okay, we're done. So now you can save it again. Control S, enter. All right, now let's go back to Unity and it should be right there. <coughs> should get imported now, right now. Be careful smacking the mouse too much. You're gonna you're gonna make our our uh, listeners deaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so drag car racing into the scene, the entire thing. Oh, okay. actually no. Let's edit. Let's edit. Well, sure. Drag it there, and then release. Now let's go edit it a little bit. So click on car racing inside the model. Yeah. Yeah. So there's very things we don't want. Let's go on the rig. No, we don't have any rigs. So change animation type from generic to none. Now go to animation, uh, untick import animation, go to materials, untick import materials, go to model, uh, change <laughs> normals, go on normals, down where it says import, change change to calculate, and leave it on 60, hit apply. It may import them at 60, I don't actually know. Okay. So now the default material is being applied. Now let's quickly take a look at the, go go to the car racing object in your hierarchy. Yeah. Our thing is says untitled. Yeah, we haven't saved the scene yet. We should probably do that. Let's do that. So let's open, create a new folder in assets, call it scenes. Hit control S to save. And you're gonna have to select the scenes folder again. It's right there. Yeah, and here, name it whatever you want, car racing, whatever. Save, nice, okay. So there goes car racing. Uh, we got the scene, everything's fine. Now, yeah, now check the object, car racing. Now it's placed at a weird position. Let's reset to transform. Now it's right in the middle. Now take a look at your game view. Go to your game view. Aha, uh -huh, exactly as I thought. So we are going to have to move the camera so it's vertically spaced on top of our board, right? So select the main camera, go back to scene view. Yeah, so it'll show you a preview over there. Now you wanna drag the camera up on the Y axis. So zoom out a little bit, drag it up, uh, carry on, just go. Just go, go to like 10 or something. Yeah. Okay, and now change the rotation okay. on the x-axis. Make it go forward, the rotation on the x-axis. We'll, we'll put precise numbers later. Let's test for now. So keep on going. Yeah, move. More, 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 more. 
more, more, more. Uh, yeah, you can release and do it again. <laughs> yeah, okay. And move the mouse again. Yeah. I say 60. Just put 60 degrees, it'll be fine. That's 90. But... 60, that's good. Right. Now put it on 60 and then we'll move the camera. Just type the number. <coughs> oh, Andrew's here. Hi. Come here, Andrew. Come. <laughs> You've learned how to open doors. But this is we're my recording. little son. I know we're recording. Say hi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He's here. Hi, love. That's the other sister. We're recording. Okay. Now, people, we need to record. Off you go. <coughs> bye bye. Close the door after you. That's a good boy. Close the door. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So, 60 degrees, that's fine. 10 is a uh, position is okay. Now, um, drag it further forward on the Z axis. Yeah, go forward on the Z axis. That's pretty decent. Yeah, leave it there. Whatever that number is. Minus, minus five. Minus five. <coughs> okay, we're gonna leave it here for now. So let's uh, create a materials folder in our assets. <laughs> That's the beauty of having loads of kids. Uh, materials. Yeah. Now double click that folder. Right click and create a new material. No, just material, it's further up. Above lens flare, yeah. And name it board or something. Board, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drag the board material onto the board. The board is very bored. Indeed. So now just change the albedo color to something else. Uh, oh, the color pickers <laughs> over there. Drag it, drag it to the other window. Why must we have two screens? I oh, you messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. Oh dear. There you. we go. Okay, give it a dark color, something. I don't know. Dark blue, whatever. Dark blue. It's a pretty dark blue. Dark. That's purple. Purple. <coughs> sure, leave it on purple. It's, <coughs> it's the coughing color. <laughs> Go ahead and select it. Your audience is getting bored. Okay. I've selected it already. <laughs> duplicate, <coughs> duplicate the board uh, material. You can't. You need to hit Control D. Oh, it. I don't know why. Okay, you're lucky that worked. Okay, rename this one to car, car body, and then duplicate this one and call it car wheels. Are we wee squiggly? Okay, wheela. <laughs> wheela. Okay, so for the card wheels, give it a dark gray in the albedo color. Color. What do we need to drag it in? We'll do it later. Dark gray. It's dark gray. Uh, I don't know about dark, but okay. Car body. Yeah, on the wheel. There we go. On the wheel. On the wheel. Okay, now car body. My daughter makes fun of my pronunciation. Uh, pick a color that's visible, something like yellow. 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 Ah. Sure, that's very yellow. It's gonna like kill people. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right. So now what we need to do is we need to start creating objects out of this stuff. Um, so let's uh, go to expand the car racing object. <coughs> now drag the car out. All the way out. You're not there in the hierarchy. <laughs> hierarchy. Out in the hi cancel. Out in the hierarchy. Dra drag it under directional light. Oh, yes, there. Continue. Okay. Now duplicate car and insert it inside itself. Uh, isn't that interesting? Drag car one into car. Rename car one to model. And Go to the car, not car, not model, but car. Okay, so car's rotation is 90 degrees. Change that to zero. Now your car's gonna go weird. <laughs> it's fine. 
uh, <coughs> remove the mesh filter and remove the mesh renderer from the car. Okay, and now go to your model and rotate your model. It was minus 90 on the X, so. Now there's other ways in which you can do this, but I'm always lazy. So I tend to do it this way every time. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm kind of so used to this that it's not a problem for me, but you can change the export settings in Blender. And the problem is that I'm not exporting to FBX, so I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure. Anyway, this will work. <coughs> <clears throat> Zoom in a little bit because I can't see if that wheel is sinking. No, it's fine. It's just not being selected. Okay, now take the wheel from the hierarchy. Yeah, actually, before you do that, sure, that was the idea. But before you do that, uh, so release there, uh, right click on car, go create empty, call it wheels, wheels. <laughs> no, that's well. <laughs> yeah, enter, drag the wheel into the wheels. I call the wheel model. Nope. Oh, and what? <laughs> call, it, call it zero. Okay. Just the number zero. Oh. Not the word, that'd be wasteful. Duplicate it three times. Okay, now drag zero. Well, rename that one to one, rename the next one to two, rename the next one to three. If, Hi. You, double, if you double click it, 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 it focuses it. You, <laughs> what? it first. <laughs> you can't count! <laughs> You need to decide whether you're laughing or coughing. It's one or the other. No, I'm laughing. People always tell me women are good at multitasking. That looks like a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so move uh, one to the opposite side. Well, wait a second. Look at the transform data over there. <coughs> okay, so five is the position on the X. Now, you know that Unity sometimes does funky stuff. Zero, 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 one. Yeah, all of that. So let's select all four of the wheels at the same time. And now put a five on a 0 0.5, I'm sorry, on position. Yeah, leave 0 0.23 on the Y and 0 0.42. Okay, and now change the rotation from <coughs> nine, minus 90 to 270. Yeah, minus 90 or 270, they're the same. And now the scale you want one 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 because it's probably one one point more weird stuff. This is a Unity <coughs> two thousand and seventeen thing. Okay. Use the weird sneeze. Always doing things you are. Okay, now select wheel <laughs> number one and hold control and drag it not there. The other we're going to the other side of the car. How about like this then? Yeah. Okay, release. Now rotate around with the right click. Oh yeah. Okay, it already looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it's in the right place. You see. Now you can select wheel number two. And you wanna yeah zoom out a bit so you can see better. And now you wanna drag it on the z-axis. Hold control always. Yeah. Oh. Okay, release it. And now the third wheel, put it where the second one is. So hold control and then drag it. Yeah, not. Okay, and yeah, now hold control and drag it on the Z. Whee. Okay, there we go. We got our <coughs> wheels more or less in a position that should probably work. Uh, like I said, we're going to worry about putting them in the right place later if we care or That's making all sorts of other th th decisions. Look at your beautiful car. This car will <laughs> win awards, man. <laughs> awards of badness. <laughs> oh, I guess. It doesn't look very elaborate, does it? Um, it's just a draft. Okie doke. So clearly the car is massive compared to the board, which is a bit of an issue. But because we have made the car all into one single object, we can go and resize it. So go to your game view so we can see how it looks like in game. Ooh, it's it's humongous. humongous. Right? So you want to select the car object over there and change the scale from 1 to 0 0.2 or something. Yeah, and do it on all, all of them. This may be too small, we'll see. Okay, now I think it looks all right for uh, the board, right? We got a board. I mean, right now all of the pieces are missing, but you know, one thing at a time. 
So what should we do next? Maybe we should go and actually model a board tile. So I think we should make it circular. So like, like a patch, a circular patch. So you, the cars can sort of walk on it mm. and, uh, well, walk, I guess cars don't walk. Um, and uh, it's better if it's circular so we can place it wherever we want to. And then you know exactly what we'll do. We'll lerp between them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while we're driving about. So let's go back to, blend back to Blender. Okay, and now hit <coughs> tab to go to object mode. Hit shift C to make sure you're in the middle. We can take another layer. Uh, no, stay on the same layer for now. Hit Shift A to add. And add a mesh circle. Mm -hmm. Now that's not big enough. So hit 7 to go to top view. Seven. Okay, now hit Tab to it go to... It looks invisible. I also we forgot something. It's far too, too precise. Too, verti too many vertices. Too so many. hit Tab. Not, not yet. Now hit delete. Enter. Okay. Now shift A. Try to smack the keys a little bit less, because you're gonna make our people deaf. Okay. <laughs> change the vertices to twelve. Okay. Now hit Tab to go to edit mode. Hit S to scale. Hit Hold Control, and let's. Go outward, outward. You want to go bigger. One more. I think that's good. Click, release. Okay, now E to extrude. Escape to to release. S to resize. No, I'm silly. Undo, uh, escape. Hit W, M for merge, C at center. Or collapse, I never remember. Okay, now, do you notice something? Mm -hmm. What do you see? Everything's merged to the center. Yeah, you should see something else too. The car is flying. Nope. Look at this. What's going on? There's just the square is too far down. What does that mean? Now, don't you see something obvious? Look at the colors. Oh yeah, it's the normals are flipped. The normals are flipped. So <coughs> we need to hit A to select all. <coughs> Go to. I think it's scaling UVs on the left, those left tabs over there. Left, 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 up. Either options or scaling UVs. There it is. So normal, it says anyway. try, try recalculate. Oh my bad, sorry, shaded. Uh, flip direction. Uh, Ta-da! There we go. Okay, now the normals are pointing in the right directions. Why didn't you explain to our audience what normals are? <gasps> Assuming you can. Well... <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> well, the normals are like the fact if it's flipped on with the. Uh, <laughs> Do you want me to try? How to explain it. So every face, or rather every vertex, right, is defined mm -hmm. by a ve by a few vectors, right? One vector mm -hmm. defines its position. Then there's probably mm -hmm. a vector that tells us its rotation. One vector, a vertex cannot have a scale, right? But there's also another mm -hmm. vector called the normal vector that indicates which which direction the face is facing, the face that will be constructed with those vertices. Okay, so if we take the example of the triangle I'm about to click on, this one, right? <clears throat> Each of these vertices needs to know which direction the normals are, and in this case, they're pointing up towards the car. But before, because they were dark gray, like so, right? They were They're pointing, pointing down. This way. means that this face would be looking down. If, for people who don't know, there's a setting in Blender that you can check. It's here in display. No, it isn't. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> where, where, where is it? <laughs> is it in display? Okay. Oh boy, this is embarrassing. Ah, there it is. So in mesh display. Ah silly me and you click on the little face over here and it will show you where the normals are going and these little cyan lines indicate that the normals are pointing up in the case of these and this one which have flipped points down so let's flip it again Ta -da! excellent that's, i don't know if that does some crazy mathematical stuff so i'm going to hit recalculate just to make sure and they're all still pointing up i'm happy
I'm gonna turn this off now. Okay, so I think this patch is a little bit too simplistic. So let's go ahead and give it a border. So hit A to unselect all, hold Alt to group select or connection select or something, and select the side ones. Yeah. Now hit E to extrude. Yeah, yeah. but you need to stay there. Okay, now hold, uh, hit escape, hit S, hold control, and now go outward a bit. One more. There, click, release. Okay, now do two loop cuts in the ring on the outside. Yeah, and now move the mouse, uh, undo. You forgot to move the mouse wheel up. No, wait, 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 escape, escape. first, undo. Control R. Oh, your hands are too small. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there, now click uh, escape to let it go. Okay, now let's go front view. Now hit G, Z to go up, and now hold Control, move up. Yeah, click. Okay, there we go. We've got Bumps. ourselves a but lovely But then the car, order. when he's driving off of it, he'll bump. Well, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you have bumps. Sometimes. It should be okay. I mean, the, uh, just check that the car is elevated enough from the from the, the thing, and it isn't. You, you make a good point. So let's hit Z to go into uh, um, wireframe mode. Uh, box select to select all of the top vertices on the pane. All of these. Yeah, now move it down on the z-axis without <coughs> the control. So you can go down just a little bit. A bit more. Keep on going. There. That's good. Now it looks like this. Now I think that these panes will need to have two materials. One for the border and one for the center. Right? So here's what we're going to do. Hit tab. No, actually, don't. Go to the material thingy up here. There, there's a material, there's that circle over there. Yeah. Now click plus twice. Yeah, go on the first one and click new down there. Where does it big plus? It says new. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, just rename it by double clicking it here on the name. Double click that, call it border. Yeah. And then the second one, click new. Now change the diffuse color to anything. Wait, we need to call this one. Core, whatever. Two. Core. Are yeah. we doing like we do with the mines? Yeah. Now select this. Yeah, and change it to anything else that's not white. Anything visible. There, that'll do. Sure, I don't care. Click away. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to... Uh, edge select all of those, uh, not the outside, but the inside ring there. Yeah, no, those, yeah. Alt, hold, Alt, hold, Alt, mm -hmm. right click. There, now there on the left, hit mark seam for the unwrapping. Yep. Yeah. And now what you want to do is you want to hold the, actually hit Z to go into wireframe, hold the shift. Oh wait, that's not shift. That's definitely not shift. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. You need to. No, that's not gonna work. Ah! <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> Press in every button you see. <laughs> Press A to unselect everything. No, stay in edit mode. Go, go, hit tab to go into edit mode. Okay, final. Now select face selection here. Yeah. Now click on any of these faces in the middle. Right click. Now hit L. <coughs> okay. And now you want to select the core material and hit assign. Assign. There. And now our core is going to have a different material than the outside. And there, now let's put a material in the It's board. already there. It's already there. Oh, but why? Uh, Sure, change its color if, you, if it makes you happy. Gre okay. Green. Winning! Oh, actually, I think... Wait a second. Something, something's weird. Orange. Something is very weird. Wait a moment. Let me oh wait, see. I think I put it in the speculum. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> I was like, why, why is it looking like you're changing the specular? Because you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's leave the specular. We don't even care about it. 
th this this thing is entirely irrelevant to us anyway it's just so we can see the difference mm -hmm. okay so there it is it's fine we don't need any faces underneath because we're never going to see these things from any other direction other than up top mm -hmm. okay so we got five minutes left hit tab to 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 go back to object mode now let's rename it circle we can't call it circle we're gonna call it uh, um, tile yes tile okay hit is enter. this the core yeah it's both of them tile okay done save ta-da and now this guy's gonna go hey things Met. <laughs> Met. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can delete car racing here. The board is going to stay here for now. We're going to make it better later. And what we're going to do is uh, let's duplicate the car. So hit Control D, rename it to Tile, and delete the wheels. On the model, we're going to change the mesh to the to Tile. tile. Okay, and you can see now, if we go to the scene view, that it's, it's kind of there, yellow, but it's, what is, it, what is it doing? What's this what? flickery stuff? What, the normals? No! You don't know this, actually. You're too young to know this. This is called Z-fighting. Um, it's a problem when two textures, or some kind of rendering pattern in this case, two materials, are exactly at the same level, so they're conflicting. Oh. Now, there's an easy solution to this. Let's go back to Blender, okay, and here's what we're going to do, uh, hit uh, G, Z, and now hit 0 0.02, enter. So what we've done is we've moved the ground up just a tiny little bit, okay, save. And now what's going to happen is that your ground is going to be high enough from the ground that it's not touching the board. It's almost invisible for you as a human being, but the the computer knows, the computer knows. Okay, duplicate the board material and rename this one to tile. Tle, tle, tle. Oh, you even confirmed it. You even confirmed tle. How dare you. Tile, border. I also can't laugh. You forgot the word border, potato. Jet. <laughs> Not a board. Border. <laughs> I'm getting bored. How many times am I going to make this joke? <laughs> I don't know. Duplicate it again and rename this one to tile uh, floor, I guess. Floor. Now let's make this one cool. So on the tile floor, change the rendering mode from opaque to fade. <coughs> mm -hmm. Now drag the tile floor onto your tile model. There. Now change the color to say some kind of light gray. Light, yeah, lighter. Yeah, and now reduce its alpha. Huh? It's going transparent. It's gone. You know, fully. We need to see it still. Put it at like 128 or something. Okay, and now uh, hit enter. Make this go away. Make it go away. It's okay, gone. now go to the model there. Yeah, and you need to add a material. So on the materials over here, expand that array. Yeah, and add one to the size. So hit two. And you'll see that now the side is gonna get the same tile floor. Now replace it with tile border, the second one. Okay, now change the color of tile border. Yeah, change the albedo, put something very distinctive again, some like red or whatever. Something very visible. There. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Now go back to game view. Let's see how this looks like. Okay. 
Now we're going to be able to place these tiles all close to one another ding, 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 and make ding, ding, the cars ding. go on them mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to construct Bayesian curves to make the car go from one tile to the next. That will be a new thing for you. What's a Bayesian curve? It's a curve that a, a person called Bayesian invented. At least I think so. Oh. Sorry, internet, if I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's time for us to stop. I think we've done enough for today, don't you think? 50 minutes. We haven't done an hour yet. That's fine. 50 minutes is a plethora of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I guess we can stop. Yeah, well, you we can go conclude it. read or something. It's kind of time to go to sleep for you. Okay, yeah, so we're done with the code code. for today. With the code. We haven't coded one line. Can you believe this? Yeah. No, just just add a scripts that. folder. Just add a scripts folder. Okay. Go ahead. Add a scripts folder. I feel bad for not having made a single script. <laughs> Do you want me to put a script in it? Then? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Because we still haven't made any scripts. Sure. Let's let's script build the script. So create okay. C sharp script, but let's we need to decide what we're gonna call it and what it's gonna be. Um, <laughs> it should probably it should probably be a car motor. So let's call it player motor. Player motor. Moto. I did not. Bam. Bang on Player that. motor. And uh, double click it so uh, Visual Studio creates the solution. And uh, we don't have to Studio. wait that long for next time. Okay. Done. Bye bye. You don't like the comments? I do not like comments. <laughs> Looks like I taught you real well. All employers in the audience, please disregard. Okay, hit Control S to save. Disregard the comments. <laughs> no, disregard the fact that you don't like comments. I'll, Why? Tell, I'll tell you a secret. There's no programmer who makes his own code that likes to comment it, but there's no programmer in the world who doesn't like to read somebody else's comments so that he understands what in the world the other programmer wrote. <laughs> well, I've read that like 3,000 times, I know. Ah, fair enough. Those comments <laughs> are indeed pointless. Anyway, so we're good for now. Uh, let's say bye-bye to everyone and close, close up shop. See ya, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.